Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Make sure to subscribe for more updates. Today, we've got some interesting news and insights about the Iraqi dinar and its ongoing developments. Let's start with an article from Saroni, which highlights the Central Bank of Iraq meeting with electronic payment companies and contracting with an international auditing firm in New York. This is a significant step forward, despite what some may say about the slow progress. Iraq is indeed moving forward, particularly in the realm of digital payments and electronic banking, which are set to take effect early next year. The new central bank building is expected to become a beacon of progress as Iraq continues to diversify its economy. Wolverine has some exciting news everything is ready to go. All the mechanisms are in place, and we should be prepared for September 3rd. According to a recent update, the banking sector was notified on Sunday, September 1st, that the mechanism to exchange foreign currencies and securities has gone live. It seems like we are finally here, and the next few days could be crucial. Moving on to some more updates. A recent article quoted the U.S. Treasury praising Iraq's remarkable progress in monitoring transfers and selling dollars. The Treasury Department acknowledged that these steps significantly contribute to strengthening Iraq's financial and economic stability. This is a promising sign that Iraq is on the right track in terms of economic reforms and currency management. Sandy Ingram also provided some insights, noting that Iraq's employment rate, inflation rate, and GDP all play a role in determining the value of its currency. The development road project is another key factor that will positively impact Iraq's economic status. This project is expected to provide a dependable income stream outside of the oil industry as it positions Iraq as a global corridor for transporting goods and energy. The project will generate numerous jobs and attract investment opportunities, which is great news for the country's economic outlook. In a historic move, Iraq has been chosen to chair the Group of 77 and China at the United Nations for the first time. This is a significant achievement and shows Iraq's growing influence on the international stage. Mark Z from PDK shared an update from his banking contacts. He mentioned that banks have been told to suddenly start training more staff on foreign currency exchange. This increase in training could indicate that we are very close to seeing some significant movement. It makes sense for banks to get more people ready if a major currency event is imminent. Lastly, Claire shared an article about Iraq maintaining its credit rating and foreign exchange reserves level. According to the latest report by Standard Poor's, SP, Iraq maintains a credit rating of B or B with a stable outlook. This indicates a level of financial and economic stability in Iraq which is another positive sign for the country's future. With all these updates, it seems like Iraq is making steady progress on multiple fronts. The next few days could be critical, and there's a lot of anticipation in the air. What are your thoughts on these developments? Do you think we are on the verge of a major shift? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more insights.